Hi, in this video, I will show you how to compare two arrays using Power Automate. Here I have some um, arrays as first array, I got one, two, three, four, five, six values. And my second array, I have one, two, three, four, five values. So after the comparison of these arrays, um, the value missing from the second array is the polar one. That's what we are after. Okay. So to do this, we need to declare an initialize variable. So variable, initialize variable. Just let, let's call it this as first array. And the type is array. And that's a value. Okay. Next one again, second array we need to declare, call that as second array, type as array, and that's my second array. Okay. The next step, we need to iterate the first array comparing with the second array values. So to do that, we want a control called apply to each. And here I need to map the first array. Then we need the comparison. For the comparison, I'm going to add an if condition here. Okay, under the if condition, I'm going to say my second array contains the first array values. So to get each and every element of the arrays, we need to use an expression called item. Okay, and if it doesn't contain, that's what we are after. So we need to go on to the if condition to say append array, append to array variable. And oh, I forgot to declare uh, the final array values here. So initialize another variable called final result or something. Yeah, fine, let's call it as final result. Here it is. And under the value, again, we need to use the same expression called item. Okay. So that's that's applied to each. And finally, we can just declare a compose to check the final result values. Let's save this flow. Now we can test our flow now. Okay, so we are after, Polo is the one we are after. So that's the difference between the two arrays. So let's go back to flow again. So first we declare, uh, declare an array. Again, we declare the second array which we want to compare. Then we initialize the variable called final result where we want to store our results. Then we iterate each and every element of the first array comparing with the second array which contains the item of the first arrays. So for that, we need to use an expression called item. If that doesn't contain, then we want to append that item to the final result of the array. Finally, outside the loop of the apply to each, we, we declare a compose and map the final results. Thank you for watching.